Hola amigos, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to make high quality screen recordings without any loss of performance. If you have ever tried to capture your screen, for example, to show your workflow or maybe even just for a presentation, you might have noticed that this is a quite intensive process for your computer. At least if you do the screen captures software based, which is actually how you normally would do it, right? So I already thought a few times to make videos about my photo or video workflow, but capturing an app like Premiere, Photoshop or Lightroom, which are already using a lot of your computer's resources, are even more intensive for your computer to capture. Of course, this also depends a little bit on what kind of computer you have and which resolution you record your screen. Well, a few days ago it just was like and I thought if that's gonna work, it's super easy to create high quality screen recordings without any loss of performance, even in 4K. And guess what? It worked. But uh, to be honest, this is not the cheapest option because you need an external recorder like the Ninja V. These kind of recorders are normally used to record high quality video straight out of your camera in a way better codec than your camera do to control light, preview LUTs or even just as a monitor. These external recorders have a lot of advantages to help to create high quality videos. But as I already said they are not super cheap and if you're just getting into filmmaking it might not be the best investment at this time. Of course you can use every external video recorder to capture your computer screen because they all have an HDMI input. I use the Atomos Ninja V which gives us even one more opportunity. But later more. First option. We attach the Ninja V as a second monitor to our computer or laptop. Then all we have to do is duplicate the screen and press the record button. Everything we record will be on the attached SSD. Second option. If your computer has only one HDMI output, you can also pass through the signal. Simply connect your computer's HDMI out with the Ninja V's HDMI in and the Ninja's HDMI out with your monitor and you're ready to go. Super easy, isn't it? Recording your screen on an external device is super easy and saves your computer a lot of work. So if you have the Atomos Ninja V or a similar recorder, you should definitely consider if this workflow also works for you. And if you were already thinking about getting one of these, now you have one more reason. Anyway, I will link the Ninja V in the video description if you're interested. I hope you liked this video and it was helpful to you. If so, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next week.